How to unlock the bootloader of the Google Pixel 6 or the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Panchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock the bootloader on the Google Pixel 6 or the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Now, what are the prerequisites? To do this well, for starters, make sure you have an active internet connection on your phone and you have a backup of all your data which you have on your phone because unlocking the bootloader will result in a factory reset on your Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro which means everything will be wiped out. Next thing you need is access to a computer. Now the computer can be Windows, Mac or Linux, whatever you are comfortable with. If you are using a Windows computer like I am going to use in this video, then you also need to have ADB and Fastboot drivers installed. Now how do you install ADB Fastboot drivers? We have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing we need to do is we are going to go ahead and go on to our pixel 6 pro and we're going to go into settings here and you need to go into about phone now once you are in about phone you need to scroll all the way down and here and tap on the build number seven times you will get a message you are now a developer now if you have a pin or password set up in that case you will have to enter that pin to enable developer options in my case i do not have any security measures on my device the other thing you need to remember is that you do not and i repeat you do not need to be signed into your google account you can remove your google account from the device right now on this one there is no google account associated with the device so i have removed that as well because once a factory reset is done if you're signed into a google account you will have to sign back into that so to avoid that situation i have removed the google account as well next thing you need to do is you will go back into settings system and here and you will see a new option called developer options make sure you have an active internet connection on your device you do not necessarily need a sim inserted i only have my wi-fi connected so once you are in developer options scroll down and you will see this toggle for oem unlocking allow the bootloader to be unlocked go ahead and enable this toggle it is going to give you a pop-up message with some warning here and say enable and as you can see the toggle is now enabled if i go back go back into developer options the toggle is still enabled now if you are not able to enable this toggle that means your carrier has stopped you from unlocking the bootloader and Verizon is one of those carriers now once the toggle has been enabled the next thing we need to do is we are going to boot our pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro into fast boot mode and before you ask me what about enabling USB debugging that is not needed to unlock the bootloader so first of all access your quick settings panel tap on the power option go ahead and say restart and once you see the black screen keep volume down pressed again once you see the black screen keep volume down pressed and here it is you can see we have now successfully booted into fast boot mode here it is fast boot mode and you can also see the reason being volume down pressed and super important thing to note over here device state right now is locked so we are in fast boot mode and at this point all you need to do is connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable that's it that is what you need to do connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable and for the next steps we are going to move over to the computer so here we are on the computer and the first thing you need to do is again make sure you have the drivers installed and we are going to check whether the device is being detected in fast boot mode or not next thing you need to do is go to the website which is linked in the description of the video this is developer.android.com and this is wherein you will download sdk platform tools for your variant of the operating system whether you're using windows mac or linux now do note this has your adb 
db and fastboot and this is going to be a zip file so here it is this is the file which i have downloaded for windows this is an archive file we need to unarchive or unzip it i am using winrar on mac and linux i don't think so you need to use any third party tool so go ahead and in my case for windows i will right click on it say show more options because i am using windows 11 and then i will say extract here now this is going to extract the contents of this file within this folder and as you can see i now have another folder if i go inside this folder here and you will notice i have adb and i should also have fastboot within this very folder here it is i have fastboot as well next thing windows users need to open command prompt and mac and linux users need to open terminal and go to this specific path where you have extracted adb and fastboot and you have platform tools now for windows users it is as easy as tapping on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted press the backspace or the delete button on your keyboard here and type in cmd and then press the enter key this is going to open a command prompt window in this very folder so this is the path where we have adb where we have fastboot all the things are extracted over here now here in the first command which we need to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in fastboot mode or not and the command for that is fastboot space devices now if you are on mac or linux then you would need to enter dot slash before the command and I think for Mac it is a forward slash and for Linux it is a backslash or it could be vice versa anyways so Mac and Linux users do need to enter dot slash and Windows users can ignore the dot slash now once you have entered the command fastboot space devices go ahead and press the enter key and there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fastboot mode now if you do not get anything over here that means you do not have the drivers installed which means you have to install the drivers and as i mentioned in the beginning of the video the video on how to install drivers on windows for adb fastboot is linked in the description of the video now the next command is to unlock the bootloader on your pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro and that command is as easy as typing in fastboot space flashing space unlock that's it fast boot space flashing space unlock and again mac and linux users will have to enter dot slash before the command and once you've entered the command go ahead and press the enter key on your keyboard now as soon as you press the enter key on the keyboard you will get a message on your phone's screen so here it is you can see that i have the message about a warning about the bootloader unlock and then right now it says do not unlock the bootloader and here it says press volume keys to select different menu so you need to use the volume keys to navigate through the different options and then you need to select the or press the power button to select your option so we are wanting to unlock the bootloader use the volume keys to go through the two options do not unlock and unlock make sure you get unlock the bootloader and then bootloader unlock is as easy as pressing the power button once you do that the device is going to boot back into fast boot mode and here and you will notice that device state now says unlocked previously it was saying locked which means the bootloader was locked and now it is saying unlocked and now all we need to do is make sure you have start over here and once you have start press the power button to boot back into android and you are going to get this warning on every boot up now that the bootloader is unlocked and press the power button to pause but we do not have to pause it will take some time there it is we do have the google boot animation on our pixel 6 or the pixel 6 pro and we have successfully unlocked the bootloader on our device and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you